okay. After we refill the ink, we will now proceed in ink charging. But first, you check the ink covers are closed and the inks are not mixed. The inks are filled in their specified tags and can get the power cord, plug it in, then push too hard enough for the power cord to stuck in the socket. Okay, then turn the power on. You will hear a crashing noise inside that is the roller pumping the inks and you will see the carriage moving from right to left checking its way if there were obstacles because if there is then your printer will have a general error and now if it is resting in the right side that is normal and you will see the light indicator in the ink label up because the bottom is for label for the paper jam when the red is in top and is, it is steady then it is for ink transit this is the cancel button press the cancel button until the power button blink once so now press the cancel button for 8 to 10 seconds then you see the power button blinks and you will hear the rushing noise inside this is the roller again pushing the inks from the ink tanks to the, the printer head you will see the inks here in the tube and then just leave your printer doing its job if possible do not disturb the power it might cause error to your printer if it is unplugged so you wait for 30 to oops, 20 to 30 minutes it is advisable to wait for 35 minutes so that your printer can cool down before you are gonna go and going to print but first you must install the driver just click the link above to be guided on how to install the drivers for L series in Epson, Canon, or HP, whatever printer you have. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.